Today, we'll be going over instructions for assembling your swing for your outdoor enjoyment. It is important to assemble your swing on a flat surface that will not cause scratches or other damage to your swing. After removing the parts from the box, carefully lay them out in preparation for assembly. The hardware for this swing includes four 2.5 inch carriage bolts and flange nuts, six 2 inch carriage bolts and flange nuts, four nuts for the chain. Note, our 5 foot grandpa swing will also use the two extra carriage bolts and nuts that are included in your hardware package. Your box will also include two chains a right and left arm, the swing back, and a contoured seat. You will also need a hammer and a half inch box wrench for assembly. Now, you are ready to assemble your swing. First, we will need two two and a half inch carriage bolts. Place these on both sides of the seat towards the front. Use the hammer to carefully tap the carriage bolt into the frame. Repeat the same process for the other side. Next, carefully slide the back into the seat. Use the 2 inch carriage bolts to connect the seat with the back. Again. Use the hammer to gently tap the carriage bolt into the wood frame. Use the flange nuts to secure the bolts. These nuts should only be hand tightened for now. We will use the box wrench later to tighten them more. Next, we will be using a two and a half inch carriage bolt to fasten the arm to the seat and back. Use the hammer again to tap the carriage bolt into the wood. Slide the front of the arm into the two and a half inch carriage bolt that we placed earlier. Next, we will repeat the same process for the other side of the swing. Now, let's use our half inch box wrench to securely tighten each one of the flange nuts on the swing. Next, we will be installing a chain on both sides of your swing, which is included in your package. Note that each chain has a long side and a short side, which is connected with a safety snap. Connect the long side of the chain to the front of the swing. We will use one of our flange nuts to hold the chain in place. Next. Connect the short side of the chain to the back. Again, we will use a flange nut to keep it secure. Repeat the same steps to install the chain on the other side of the swing. Remember, the long side of the chain goes in the front and the short side goes in the back.
Let's use our half inch box wrench to securely tighten the flange nuts on the swing. The safety snap can be adjusted later to change the pitch of the swing. Our port swing is now assembled and ready to be taken outside. Now, relax and enjoy.